G'day everyone, welcome to yet another RC Tanks Australia video, yada yada. Um, <laughs> in this video, um, we're going to take a look at the latest release of the Panzerfaust board. Um, Panzerfaust, when it, I first released it, was a, quite a popular little unit. Um, it's one of the few boards where I seriously have none of them left. They are, they've all been gone, they're all sold, not even prototypes lying around. <clears throat> so... Uh, this is the latest incarnation of the board. Um, again, uh, unfortunately, there's just a small run. Um, we'll see how that goes and hopefully put into a higher numbers production. But um, what I've done with the new version of Panzerfaust is make it a lot more easier to use. Okie dokie. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the original board um, because I've added things on to both ends. Okay, Probably the most obvious thing is this big attachment down the end here. Okay, now because Panzerfaust is meant to be, uh, you know, your automatic IR soldier sitting anywhere on the battlefield, wanted to make it portable and just a, a breeze to deploy. Now, um, way I've thought about doing that is to power Panzerfaust by a nine volt battery. Okay, now so you get a nine volt battery. Unfortunately, I'm a bit underprepared. This is a dead battery. I found it lying around somewhere, so I can't actually power up Panzerfaust and run it off a nine, this 9 volt battery. Um, but I'll, I'll show you what how it um, how it goes together. Anyhow, um, so connect up your, when you connect up your battery, it's like that. And with the battery connection there, it forms a stable support platform for Panzerfaust. There we go. So you can place that anywhere in the battlefield, in a building, um, and it will stay up out of the out of the ground there. On the back here, there is a switch to turn it on. Okay, so you just slide that across and the unit is powered up. As you can see, hardly enough to even light that LED with this battery. Okay, um, so that's your on off switch for Panzerfaust. It's got an on off switch there. On we go. Here is our speaker port. So, you know, if you get a speaker, an old hang long speaker, obviously the better quality speaker, the better the sound that's going to come out of Panzerfaust. But if you've got, I'm sure you might have heaps of these old hang long speakers, that'll work fine. Plonk him down and you just attach him like so. Pretty obvious stuff. Okay, there you have your Panzerfaust unit. Now, how quick was that to set up? Previous one, you need to, you know, find the power supply and then attach the other part I've added on here is the actual IR system. Okay, with the last Panzerfaust, you needed to find yourself a hammerhead unit or attach to bits and pieces out of an old hang long. But what I've done here is I've just added it all together. Now, when you get Panzerfaust, I'm thinking I will not solder these components in, so you've got a bit of choice of where you want to put them. Now, on this particular unit, I've got them mounted so that the unit will go like that because that's your forward firing IR, there's your IR receiver here. You could of course mount these the other way around, so the unit will fire that way, um, or you could wire flyaway leads, whatever you wanted to do. But uh, as this one stands, on this side, there is your IR LED, so that fires your IR signal. This LED here is your indicator LED, and there, this unit here, is your IR receiver. So what I will do is I will fire up Panzerfaust, but I will have to use a LiPo here. So I've just made a little connection to connect up a LiPo. Now, unfortunately, because of this, it won't stand up right the way it's designed, but well, immediately you can see, oh, I'll, have to, I'll stop that. There we go. So that's Panzerfaust there. Don't forget your battery. Connect your battery up. Oh, sorry, your battery, your speaker. Speaker's there. Now, normally that would just sit down flat and away you go. Turn it on and you can leave it. So let's just see if I can just get it to sort of stay still in one position. Um, don't want to waste too much time doing that. There we go. Okay, so turn the unit on. Now, of course, it flashes there and goes into a programming mode. Remember, you can set Panzerfaust out as an automatic repair station. Two flashes. And there she is. She's ready to go. So you just leave it there on your battlefield and wait for an unsuspecting tank to drive by. And hopefully it'll fire a signal in a short space of time. 
There we go. And um, yeah, so that's Panzerfaust. Um, I think, you know, making it uh, all in one utility like that um, really makes it well, a hell of a lot more easy to use. Thank you.